take 10. Good morning, top of the morning to you guys. I can't do this video for some reason. I'm gonna try to keep it short, I really am. So, I'll get to the point. And let me just say this, I have a lot of friends here on YouTube that are the lighter color persuasion, right? And I, I would hope that if you ever met me in person, red, you would meet me in person. You'd be like, man, I would invite you to my house. I would invite you to the dinner table. You are a good guy. You're a good person. And not and not focus on this, right? Color, right? I would think that. In my mind, I think I live in that world where people are just people. All right? Keep that in mind when I tell you this story. I don't want you to think otherwise. But hear, hear me out. So about a month ago, this Western company, hat company, was doing a contest, right? And, and you know, they on one of the social media platforms, they're like, hey, do a video, tell us what would you do in the hat, their hat, right? And I own one of their hats. I thought, okay, I can do that. I, I own one of their hats. Uh, I'll do a quick, fun video, because you know, people's attention spans is so, so short on social media, right? Um, so I did like a, I don't know, a 20 to 28 second video, right? And I did it of me throwing knives in their hat. I thought that'd be different, right? <clears throat> because I'm not in the Western arena scenery. Uh, I'm not a cowboy. Uh, I'm a cowboy at heart. I love cowboy hats. Um, I like country music. Um, I love being a Texan. I love anything that's cowboy, that's anything that's Western genre. That's just me. That's just how I grew up, right? Am I, you know, Am I like full gear, cowboy, 24, no, but I like the Western scenery. I think it's neat, I think it's cool. Horses, cowboys, ropes, cattle, open open plains, open scenery. I love that stuff, right? It's just, it's just something that I've, I, I guess it's just, it's in my blood, but I don't live that lifestyle, right? And there's nothing wrong with being a cowboy at heart. Okay, so they do this contest and said, hey, on the on their video tell tell us what you do tell us what you do in that hat tell us what you would do in that hat or 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 what are you going to do in that hat right there's, there's some audio of that so i think to myself okay uh let me go look at their their contest rules you know you know tag us at you know hashtag blah 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 tag us tell us what you would do in that hat uh do a short video um I thought I can do that. I do videos all the time. Not a problem, right? I can do that. That's right up my alley. I got this. I go and check. No entries, right? And it's been up maybe for a week, maybe less. I'll, I'll say a week. Uh, no entries. I thought, okay, I got this, man. No, no one, no one wants to take the time to do that. This is up my alley. I do videos all the time. I can do this, no problem. I got their hat. I'm gonna do a fun video. Um, Let's go. Do my little 20, 20, 28 second video, post it, nothing, right? No no other videos. I check up on it every day, check up on a couple things, no videos. No other videos, no other entries. I was like, man, I got this, right? Come on this specific date. They give everybody like about a month or so to get your videos in by this date. We're gonna announce the winners at the beginning of March. I was like, okay, cool. A couple days go by, no entries, a week. I see one or two videos pop up. Um, I thought, okay, cool. Competition's not bad. There's three prizes, right? There's the first prize, second, and, and first. Obviously, the first prize, you know, top three, right? First prize in that order is going to get the most. It's basically a gift card for their store, right? It's like, cool, I can give me another hat. Give me another straw hat, or maybe I'll give me a felt hat, and I'll pay the difference, right? Not a problem. Didn't think I'd get number one, but I figure, hell, you know, I'll put my name in the hat. A uh, couple days go by, a few more videos pop in. I think to in total, there's probably like 10 or 11 videos. And there was one or two people that did two videos. And I thought, hmm, two entries? Hmm, I don't count. I don't think it works like that. Whatever, right? Whatever. I, I was the first one. Then I go to the company's website, not the website, but their social media page. And I see that a few videos that have been uploaded after me, because keep in mind, I was the very first one, right? I, I would think that being the first one counts for something. Like, hey, put this guy in the, in the top three, because, you know, he was the first one, you know, to, 
to do this, you know, to put the word out. And and what better way to grow your company? I mean, this company has been around for a long time. Sometimes companies that have been along, uh, around for a long time tend to be very old school mentality, right? If they've been around for 30, 40, 50 years, they've been around for a long time, which means they're probably of the older generation, right? Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. But you also understand as a business owner that as you get older, time has changed, right? Social media has changed. And you it's not a it's not a one shoe fits all. You can't just be on one platform or website for Western things and not expand out. There's so many platforms out there, and then that means you have to hire younger people. You have to also hire other races, which I'm going to say this, they do have Hispanics or Mexicans or Latinos, whatever you want to call them. They have some, they have two hat, hat guys that actually, you know, shape hats. So they are reaching out to, to other, um, employees, right? It's not just, it's all, you know, we're, everyone's white there or whatever. And again, I have nothing against that. that, that don't, don't misunderstand this video. So, <clears throat> a couple, of, you know, a couple of videos more get uploaded the next, the next, you know, second, third week, uh, and some of those videos get uploaded to their social media page. And I was thinking, hmm, I was like, um, my video was first. Why isn't my video on their, on their social media page, right? On their actual company social media page that they have. <clears throat> Starting to get my feelings a little hurt, right? And I'm just like. So finally the owner or the owner's wife, someone in management reaches out to me and says, hey, um, can you please send us, can you please email us your video so we can put it on our page? I thought, okay, cool. Finally, I'm getting recognized after, after you know, two, two weeks in plus two weeks in and other people have already uploaded their video after me. And they've gotten their video on their media on their website first on their social media platform first and again i'm not in the western arena scenery i get it but you you also want to hit a different market too you don't want it to just be all your customers are in the actual rodeo western scene uh they're in ranching they're the, the market is big out there right everybody wants to to be a cowboy right and I say everyone, not literally, but a lot of people want to be a cowboy, right? They want to wear the hat, right? They're not really cowboys. I'm not saying I'm one, but you love, love the idea of Western wear, right? The open plains, cowboys, you know, um, ranching. It's just, it's, it's something that's, I think, in a lot of us, not everybody, but in a lot of us. So you want to hit that open market. So anyway... I email them the video, no problem. You know, I, I try to keep it short, 20 to 28 seconds, um, hoping that, you know, it'll be long enough, but short enough to, to keep people's attention span. Okay, I'm talking fast here, because I'm trying to keep this at 10 minute mark. Try. So then I uh, send them the email, and I say, hey, thanks for, you know, reaching out, blah, blah, blah. You know, I want to be kind and, and respectful and this and that couple days go by nothing i'm like man why haven't you uploaded my video <laughs> i'm getting frustrated at this point because i'm like i i email you my short video i see other people's videos that uploaded way after i did in the contest and i still don't see mine i finally see mine so of course i tell some family member hey can you go friends and i was like can you go like this video please just so it has likes i don't have the most likes right because i'm not in the western world right and i'm not a chick chicks always get the views right if, if you really want to be successful you got to have the lady parts it, it's just it, it it is what it is i'm not hating on it uh but if you look cute and you gotta you know you got a front and a back you're gonna get views just you know tight jeans you know it's it is what it is so anyway <clears throat> getting closer to the end of the contest date and i'm like yes come on let's go i want to you know top three top three come on i'll i'll take i'll take third place second place would be nice i doubt i'll get first place but i'm gonna keep my my uh 
going to keep my option, my my hopes up high, right? I'm going to do my best to stay positive, right? And so, so then anyway, I the date comes and I'm I'm waiting all day, waiting for the announcement. Nothing, right? End of the day, um, nothing. So I was like, okay, I give up. I guess I already contacted the winners. I'm obviously not a winner. Boo hoo me. Okay, we move on. Then they announce the winners, right? And this is the part that gets me, right? Because I don't want to think like that. They announce the winners. They, they tag all the winners. So you can obviously go to their social media page. But looking at them, you know they're not of this, right? And I'm looking at it and I see, okay, the first winner, you know, I'll say he's in law enforcement. Okay, fine. You know, if you're military, law enforcement, firefighter, any of those lines of fields, you're going to get recognized, right? It just, it looks good on paper. It looks good on social media. You know, we're giving back to the people that serve this country, right? What about the blue collar people? What about the blue collar work? The everyday Joe like red, right? The everyday Joe worker like red. Fine. Second place goes to a, to a, a rodeo influencer, a rodeo person that's in the arena that does that kind of stuff. Okay, fine. Third person, some little kid, also in rodeo. And I'm just like, I know, I get it, right? All these stories sell, right? All these stories sell. You know, you got your law enforcement, you got your rodeo lady who does you know rodeo stuff and then you got your little kid who does rodeo and i'm just like i thought you're trying to expand out to to other arenas outside the arena and i'm just like okay fine so i go to the page they're not of they're not of my color right i'm just like company is white the winners are white i don't want to think like that i don't because I love you guys. I love I love all you guys out there. And then I go and I scroll again. And there's another page. Not just the top three winners. But then there there's like the $50 gift certificate winners. And there's like several of them. Seven or eight of them. They don't have any pictures. They just tag their name. They're like all the winners contact us. right? I go to each at their username. Click on it. Go to their page. All of them are white. There may be one chick that looked Asian, maybe Hispanic. I don't know. But everybody was of white. And I thought, man, that hits, that hurts me right there. Because that makes me feel like color does matter, you know. And if you're not of the certain look, style, brand um you're not the image that they portray or want them or want to be seen on their on their website you don't belong you're not going to help them promote so that hit me in the gut and it really hurt because i thought i thought to myself man i thought i thought we were in 2023 i thought you know with all the progress and i hate to hate to think that way but i'm i'm gonna push forward and I'm going to believe that I am equal to other people. That I see you as a person and not so much as a color, right? Color exists. You can't make it go away. You can't ignore it. But I will say this. It hurt that... Um, oh, it hurt that... Uh, that I, that I wasn't one of the winners. And it hurt even more that I wasn't even one of the $50 winners. A couple days go by, I'm finishing this up. They contact me and they're like, hey, Red, for entering the contest, we want to extend a you know $25 credit, use this code. And I thought, okay, you're, you're, you're reaching out. Maybe you felt a little bit bad. Maybe they're like, hey, this guy probably should have been in one of the one of the one of the winnings. Maybe not the first, maybe not the second, but at least the third. 
something different. Maybe, you know, he can promote the thing and, and reach a different audience other than cowboy Western stuff. And if not that, put him in the, put him in the $50 gift certificate. I mean, you can't buy much with that. Maybe a hat band. So I thought, okay. So I was like, I'm going to go to the website, try to order a couple little things, you know, just little small things, five, $10, $15, you know, rack up a couple things, use the code, use the code, nothing, nothing, nothing. So I was like, you know what? It is what it is. I'm done. I'm going to order one or two little things. And I responded, said, thanks for the offer. I tried to use your code a couple times. It wasn't working, but I went ahead and ordered these couple little items, sent them my little order number. Thanks. Have a good day. Haven't, didn't hear anything on yesterday. No likes, nothing. Didn't hear anything this morning. Not that I'm expecting to, but um, I'm not giving up hope. I believe that people are people and you can still make a name for yourself. But it does cross my mind a couple times when you don't when you don't get when you don't get recognition or you don't get put up there or you're not part of that entry group. Like, hey, all you guys are welcome to come on in. And then you look at them and they're all the same. And I'm like, that's not diversity, man. That's that's not diversity. You're still keeping that stigmatism, that that thing of like, you got to be of the look, the style, the brand. And if you aren't in those those categories, you can't get in. And it sucks. But I'm going to keep doing my thing. I'm going to keep being red. And uh, you can't take the cowboy hard in me out. No, sir. Adios. Have a blessed one. I love you all. And I'm not going to let it uh, phase me. Right out.